My name is Haley Dietz, and I'm pursuing a degree in Earth Science at New Mexico Tech. So I looked at the Precambrian granite. It's named the Tahoe granite. It's located in Socorro County, New Mexico, in the Quebradas region. And I was looking at this granite to try and find rare earth elements and uranium. Because I was able to work on the Tahoe granite, I gained a lot of experience, especially as an undergraduate. The Tahoe granite, about 1,500 feet of drill core, stored at the core library. And during COVID, when a whole bunch of research was shut down because we weren't sure about funding and collaborations, I was able to still work through the Bright Star Scholarship. And I went and looked at this drill core and logged it. And that formed the basis of my project, especially with samples. I collected samples for geochemistry and petrography work. And then I was able to use that and make a research project out of it. I presented at the SRS. I did a poster for the New Mexico Geological Society. And I'm actually publishing a paper on it. And it'll appear in the New Mexico Geological Society Fall Field Conference Guidebook this year. So as an undergraduate, I've gained quite a bit of experience that normally a graduate student receives working on a master's. I analyzed geochemistry, I analyzed petrography, and now I have experience writing grants as well as publishing research. I think it's already impacting my future because I'm a senior, I'll be graduating this May, and I'm looking to go into a master's degree. And through working with Dr. McLemore and through the Bright Star funding, I've developed a real interest and passion for working with critical elements, especially rare earths. And that's what I'm trying to focus my master's project on. And I'm really glad that I've gotten the experience that I have through working with the Tahoe Granite and through the different projects with Dr. McLemore in general, because now I can apply that to looking for grad schools. And it looks pretty good on a resume, especially because I'll be published as an undergraduate and I already have two and a half years of experience. But I think it's pretty great to have my name on a publication with research that I did. And I wrote most of the publication as well. And it was all the research that I did throughout the past couple years or so. And I'm very excited about that. I've always wanted to become a published author of some sort and I never entirely thought it would be in a research journal until now. The funding that's available through the Bright Star gave me experience that I likely wouldn't have had otherwise. And I'm here at college to learn, but I also want to explore my passions and explore what I'm interested in so I could maybe apply those for the future. And that's what happened with me. I got to work with igneous rocks and I found out that I love them. I got to work analyzing different deposits for critical elements and I found out that I love that too. And I've had this experience and I enjoy it and now I want to apply what I've learned and what I've done for the future. And it's so easy to just get caught up in the little things and not worry about the bigger picture and alumni helping us helps us keep track of that bigger picture. We're here to graduate and we're here to get an education but we're also here to apply what we learn for the future and the support that the alumni give us is what helps us do that.